See, the theme has changed, so I picked four poems to deal with change. Uh, sometimes change is subtle, as was mentioned before. Sometimes it's abrupt. And sometimes we just wish for change, and it never happens. So hopefully uh, I'll deal with all three types. I'd like to begin by, this is my, I guess you can call it, my poem to uh, those who are no longer with us, who've served, served honorably in the military, and to the families and loved ones they leave behind. It's called The Fields of Arlington. Behind the gates of Arlington, the sun burns poppy fields, turning flowers in the rolling earth to stone. Soon after the caisson rolls and guns have billowed sulfurous air, after the gleaming bugles called each hardened flower row by row, a new seed grows between the notes and words. In a consecrated space, a mother knows when she holds a folded flag against her chest and muffles the beat of a thousand drums in unison. Where my village sleeps. My village sleeps in last car caves, before black bulls, red horses, before men stole flames from Plato's puppeteers, before Picasso's echo, we have learned nothing. We sleep in Haimaka, Yucatan, a million dreams in Española, Boriquen, Cuba, Florida. We watched great ships sail through the blue-gray gaze of Guami Geni, Lord of the Horizon. They came in parades, viceroys, decrees, unfurled the heat of great intentions, burning peach blossoms in Bear River, Sand Creek, Wounded Knee, leaving cenizas, ashes in hollow drums. My village sleeps in Rwanda, Darfur, Auschwitz, Bosnia, in crowded train cars, shower rooms, in heaps we sleep in desert dunes, rainforests, buried in clean copy, softened stories, gentler genocide. We sleep in caves, like dust settled on stony witnesses, the painter's words repeating in the endless night, how little we learned and his echoes trace the contours of deaf walls. <laughs> History in a cup, one of my favorite beverages. <laughs> the end came in a shower of fresh dried coffee beans, father stripping beans in a half-filled bowl, an ancient ceremony. He tossed the beans with mastery, dividing seed from silver skin, the way prospectors tossed gold. He tossed his pallet's treasure in dry waves, cyclic karma, coaxing whispers over seeds inside their hulls, lifting shells that flew away from waves of golden beans, turning like the movement of the planets. He tossed the seeds, whispering, until his heart flew with them. And he became a shell, beans flying, raining down around him. We knew he loved to work his hands, tossing beans and memories of his father drying red berries on the ground, baking in the sun, tossing history on and on. And now he is in every dawn, I taste the dark brown elixir fertile earth, fresh life tossed in the air, a charged spirit, stripped, ground, and beautiful in my cup. Uh, 
And lastly, I hope you remember this because it's, it's different. <laughs> <laughs> I titled it Iguana Mind. On final approach, we glide over fisted trees and shards of water as they stretch past us Landing gear extend and groan along the runway. A standard view from a window seat, except for the scores of giant lizards. Green gray armored fossils seep through time. Projected on a plastic screen, they bask like tourists. But I must be the oddity, a tailless primate in a featherless bird. Fixed on a scene that should have been a dream, I fade from cold fuselage to hear iguanas bleat. Tongues lash, tails shuffle, scuttle with an awkward gait that skims the earth. Poetry strokes soft undersides, as it had done before the ground was hardened and the skies paved with invisible waves for metallic birds to follow. Poetry grows in spaces between asphalt and grass, in moments between turning engine blades, between the revolutions of machines, in thoughts, in wild gardens, like bright flashes of culantro plant. A sea of serrated leaves lances memory, begs for love, seduces wafts of fresh cut garlic, and onions. Just as suddenly as iguanas appeared, a Caribbean dream dissolves as power breaks yawn, seat belts tug and clatter, cabin lights welcome solid ground, measured, cataloged. Unlike the roots of trees, recycled dinosaurs in the sun, my parents, all great poets, who neither wrote nor spoke the words.